What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along with the channel, uh, you probably know that we have three sim rig build videos. Um, all of them were um, basically just building and finishing the cockpit. Um, at this point we're ready to install all of the electronics and um, so that's what we're going to do in this video. And because I'm sure you don't want to hear any more uh, from this intro, I'm just going to jump right into installing all the parts. This is the uh, Thrustmaster T300 RSGT. Um, so it is the T300 wheelbase, and then the um, the uh, wheel here, the Gran Turismo edition, um, hence the DT. So uh, it works with uh, PS3, PS4, and on PC. My turn to start away. I think I'm turning this right away. Okay. Um, so far it's been great. Um, I can't even estimate how many hours I have using it, um, but it's been probably at least 100 hours to this point in the in the cockpit. Obviously not the finished cockpit, but um, in this in this rig, and it's it's held up really well. Um, I don't have another comparison because this is my first like real wheel that I've owned. And it's pretty much like that for for all of the other uh, items that I have. But um, overall, this has just been a great wheel, and I, I really enjoy it. Okay, so let's get this screwed on now. Perfect, we're all set there. So this is the uh, TH-8A shifter, and um, I have not used this in sequential mode yet, but um, in the uh, H setup, it does work really well. Um, I've played it in a handful, or used it in a handful of games that I've played. Um, never had an issue. The one thing I will say is that if you know, you're coming from driving a, a real car with a, a manual transmission, um, it is a little bit odd um, to get used to the gate, but um, you know, once you once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it's fairly easy. Okay, that looks to be uh, fairly solid. So uh, let's see. We'll probably move on to the uh, the handbrake next. This is my uh, super cheap. Amazon emergency brake. This is not going the right way. Um, I would highly recommend against this because um, this has not been the greatest. It does work. Um, I just uh, it doesn't work well. Like you have to unplug it and plug it back in anytime your PC restarts. Um, it can't be used on consoles. Um, Sometimes the little uh, the, the the electronics in it just it, it's hard to explain. They just don't work correctly. Um, like the it engages too early sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't engage enough. So this is probably going to be one of the like when I start spending money on upgrading parts. This is probably going to be one of the. Uh, the first things that gets upgraded just because this has not been super reliable so like I said even though it, it, it works um, it's not great so yeah highly recommend getting getting something that's worth it under here we've got the uh, t3pa pro pedal set um, I knew I wanted to go with the uh, GT style uh, setup for the rig, so um, I mean, obviously I can go either or with this with this pedal set, but couldn't with the one that came with the uh, T300. So I ended up selling that one off and then used the money from that to uh, purchase this pedal set. It might be a little bit hard to hear me right now, but the uh, next piece of this is my uh, 40 inch. Sony television. Um, this has, I've been using this for, I want to say about seven years. Six or 
seven years. And it was originally purchased for my, um, <clears throat> to hook up to my PC, and I don't need it for my PC anymore, so it became uh, part of the sim rig. So the last few items that I have here are, there's a lot of small items and basically just a ton of like cabling work that needs to be done. I think that's only, you know, a little bit of the, the cabling that I have uh, ready to go for this thing. There's more in my closet. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just talk about everything here real quick and then we'll get everything set up and we can start driving finally. I just slapped a cheap Logitech webcam up here. I had it laying around, figured it'd be good for streaming. Um, I honestly don't even remember what model that is. It's not the C920, which is you know pretty standard for streamers, but it's there and it works. Here we have uh, Answer AR3 racing gloves, uh, motorcycle gloves. I think they were like, I don't know, 10, 20 bucks or something like that. So uh, they work pretty good. Haven't had any issues with them. Let's see. We have an HDMI switch so I can switch back and forth between um, my uh, PlayStation and PC, which is mostly just related to my audio setup, which I'll cover in a, uh, a completely separate video because it's a little in-depth. Uh, same thing with this here. This is just a uh, HDMI audio extractor, um, and that is so I can use my uh, PC speakers, which are, let me get the model number off of this. This is a uh, X530 from Logitech, uh, 5.1 surround sound. Um, had it for quite a few years, like probably 10 years or more. And um, <clears throat> I was using them for PC and then bought that audio extractor so I could also use it with the PlayStation 4. Again, I'll cover that in, in another video, so that'll be coming later. I've got two two-channel uh, Kinter amplifiers, and those are to run the uh, bass shakers, which I will show in a second and then just a HD60 capture card for uh, streaming. Here I've got an NRG racing seat, which um, I would recommend against this because it is like the cheapest uh, seat on Amazon. And honestly, it looks good, but I remember trying like a four hour session one time and I was so sore after that. So like, I'm probably gonna try and put some foam, like these, these, uh, little cushions come out so I'm gonna probably put more foam under there to see if I can fix it but um, yeah I would go with like a seat out of an actual car that'd probably be more beneficial these are uh, just Dayton audio um, tactile transducers and I have two back here if you watch my bass shaker video um, I put the other ones up on the pedal deck I've since moved them they're actually on the front of the sim rig but like on the underside um, so I can't really show them right now, but yeah, I wanted to relocate them just because they were so loud on that pedal deck. I think that covers just about everything that I have out here right now. So um, like I said, I'm just going to get everything hooked up and uh, see what else I'm missing. Everything is set up and running now. Um, before I jump into Assetto Corsa, I did want to talk about the uh, gaming PC here real quick. And um, it's nothing fancy, but I'm running an Intel uh, i7 3970X. I have 32 gigs of RAM, and most recently, um, I just picked up a uh, 3080 somehow, managed to get one. And so um, I took the 1070 out of my main gaming PC and put it into uh, this machine. Uh, the only other real item of note, I guess, is the, uh, the additional sound card for uh, running the bass shakers, but um, yeah, outside of that, nothing, nothing really more than the uh, additional sim gear I have uh, connected to it. So uh, with that, let me get uh, a set of Corsa up and running and we'll do some driving, make sure everything is uh, working correctly.
Well, everything seems to be working for the most part. My e-brake might need a little bit of an adjustment, but otherwise everything is great, um, except for my driving, which was pretty terrible, but that's what this is for, learning to get better, right? So while the rig is built, uh, that's definitely not the end of uh, content for, for this thing right here. Um, I'm gonna be doing another video uh, talking about um, basically like cost to build um, and everything that I kind of went through with the build. Um, recommendations if you plan to uh, build one of these yourself and um, I got a lot of uh, plans in the future for uh, 3d printed parts and also just uh, upgrading some of the hardware that I already have with that I just want to say thank you all so much for watching uh, thank you for following along with this build if you've seen some of the other videos uh, if any of this helped you out uh, remember to hit that subscribe button leave a comment below to let me know uh, hit the thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one